quiz. Another short quiz to test our understanding of the concepts discuss discussed so far. <clears throat> Which account will be prepared at the time of admission of a new partner for giving effect of revaluation of assets and liabilities without changing the value of assets and liabilities of the old balance sheet? A. Profit and loss adjustment account. B. Revaluation account. C. Memorandum revaluation account. And D. Realization account. Should be C memorandum revaluation account. <clears throat> Correct answer C. Next, general reserve at the time of admission of a new partner is transferred to A profit and loss adjustment account, B partner's capital account, C revaluation account, and D memorandum revaluation account. General reserve is transferred to partners' capital accounts. Correct option should be B. <clears throat> Next, the balance of memorandum revaluation account, the second part, is transferred to the capital accounts of the partners in A. Capital ratio, B. Old profit sharing ratio, C. New profit sharing ratio and D. Sacrificing ratio. The second half. The first half is in the old ratio and the second half is in the new profit sharing ratio. The correct option should be C. <coughs> correct answer should be C. Next. A firm has an unrecorded investment of 5000. Entry in the firm's journal on admission of a partner will be <coughs> A. Revaluation account debit 5000 to unrecorded investment 5000. B. Unrecorded investment account debit 5000 to revaluation account 5000. C. Partners capital account debit 5000 to unrecorded investment account and D. None of these. The firm has an unrecorded investment. If it has an unrecorded investment, investment account should be debited and the credit goes to revaluation account. Therefore, Option B should be the correct option. Unrecorded investment account debit to revaluation account. <clears throat> when balance sheet is prepared after the new partnership agreement, assets and liabilities are recorded at A. Original value B. Revalued figure C. At current cost and D. At realizable value If it's prepared after the new partnership agreement, they should be recorded at revalued figure. They should be recorded at revalued figure. <clears throat> Reserve appearing in the balance sheet will be divided among the partners during admission in what ratio? A. Old ratio, B. New ratio, C. Sacrificing ratio or D. Gaining ratio. Reserve appearing in the balance sheet will be divided among the partners during admission in the old ratio. Correct answer should be A. Old ratio. Extra amount over and above the saleable values of the identifiable assets that could be fetched by selling an existing firm as a going concern is A. Goodwill, B. Revaluation profit, C. Super profit and D. Surplus. So when you are selling uh, an existing firm as a going concern, the extra amount over and above the saleable values of the identifiable assets, that extra amount should be on account of Goodwill. So, correct answer is A. Goodwill. <coughs> Sacrificing ratio is used to distribute dash on admission of a new partner. A. Goodwill, 
B. Reserves C. Profit on revaluation and D. Unrecorded assets Sacrificing ratio is used to distribute goodwill on admission of a new partner because reserves are distributed in old ratio. Profit on revaluation on old ratio. Unrecorded assets will go to the revaluation account and will go to the old partners in old ratio. So only goodwill, the share of goodwill of the new partner will be credited to the old partners in their sacrificing ratio. 